Hey, 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 good morning, everybody. Carmina Mez here for another Wednesday weigh in. It's my sometimes favorite time of the week, um, especially when the results are where I want them to be. Um, so you can tell by my demeanor that I'm super, I'm, I'm really happy with my progress so far. And um, before I go into the specifics, of the, the results themselves, I really want to emphasize weight loss versus fat loss because I think that's an area where a lot of us get confused and to no fault uh, of your own is just that for the longest time, that is all the weight loss industry has talked about. By the way, it's called weight loss industry, right? Not fat loss. So the thing is, when we talk about losing weight, when you get on the scale, I mean, that number reflects everything. It reflects fat, it reflects bones, it reflects the amount of water, it reflects the muscles, right? So that number, yes, it's, a, it's an indication, but it's not the whole story. So what I prefer to do, what I, I should say, what I do in conjunction of tracking my weight, like the number on the scale, I do, I track my, my body fat loss, right? And um, you, there, is a, there is a tool that you can get very cheap on Amazon. It's called the Body Fat Analyzer. It's a little device that um, you hold onto. It, you know, it kind of sends like a tiny electric um, thing through your body. It's really harmless. Um, of course, you want to check with your doctor because I don't know your situation, but very common tool and that allows you to measure your body fat, right? Because somebody who weighs 150 pounds and has a 40% body fat versus somebody who weighs 150 pounds but have a 10% body fat is two very different body composition, right? Because the, the, the weight, on the, the number on the scale itself is really not a good indication whether you're healthy or not, the way your body looks, because when you lose body, uh, when you lose body fat, what happens is that your shape starts to be defined, right? Because fat in itself doesn't weigh much. Fat is kind of fluffy, right? So when it's very possible that you might be doing all the right things and if you're only tracking your weight on the scale, you will not know that you're actually making a lot of progress because very possibly you have lost body fat but not weight, right? Um, if you're incorporating um, weight training, you're building muscle, which is something you want to have, right? The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn, the healthier you are, the more endurance you have. Muscle is good. Muscle also weighs more than fat. So it is not surprising that if you are doing what you're supposed to be doing, the scale may not move, but your body fat um, percentage is going to decrease over time. The other thing that I'm tracking, um, in addition to my body fat, uh, with that handy dandy body fat analyzer, um, I also track, I also make, take my measurements, right? Because I wanna measure like my inches. Am I losing inches uh, all around? Again, because the point is, the reason we wanna lose weight is because we wanna look a certain way, right? We don't so much care about what the number says on the scale. You guys, I am one of those, I have one of those body types that um, at, for somebody, usually people who weigh 100, I don't know, 145 is usually, people say, oh my God, I'm fat. At 145, I look good. Like I do not actually want to go below 145 because below that I start to look really skinny and it's not good on me, right? Um, and part of the reason I suspect is because I've always been into sports from a very young age. So my, I've always had a lot of muscles in my body. So naturally, I, 
you know, I'm always going to weigh more than, I guess, I don't know if it, I should say the average person. But anyway, my point is the number on the scale is not the important thing. Um, I would encourage you as you're going through this journey, yes, you want to you know, tracking your weight is kind of part of our psyche. So go ahead, track your weight, but don't put too much weight into it, right? Because I find a lot of times if that's the only thing that you're tracking, that can derail your entire journey, your entire effort, because you'll get on the scale, you see a number you don't like, you're like, oh my God, I'm not doing well and I'm going to quit. Whereas in reality, <clears throat> if you had been tracking everything else, like your body fat, your measurements, um, taking pictures. That's another thing I started doing. And I, you know, in the beginning, it's kind of painful because you don't like the picture that you're saying, but oh my God, I am so stoked when I get to where I want to go to go back and look at those pictures, right? To see the progress because like, this is like, like, this is like proof right there right there in my, you know, the, what to say, the proof is in the pudding. So I'm still looking forward to that, to, you know, I'm collecting pictures from the beginning uh, until the end. Well, it's never really the end, but you know, you get what I'm saying. And just seeing the difference in my body and I'm using the same clothes every time. Um, so that is very obvious, right? It's very like, I can say the difference between point A and point Z. What, it, what the difference is, regardless of what the scale um, says. So without further ado, my results for this week, I'm super excited. Um, from last week, I'm down 1.6 pounds. Again, that's not what I'm excited about. What I'm really excited about is that I'm on body fat. I'm down 1.3%. This is huge for me. Um, so definitely moving in the right direction. BMI is also going in the right direction. I'm in um, the green for all of those. Inches wise, I'm a little um, curious because it looks like in my chest and in my thigh area, I actually went up a little bit. I'm not sure why, but whatever. Um, overall, you know, two inches loss. 4.8 pounds um, since I started in, you know, with testing this new methods. Um, so it's 4.8 in five weeks to me, it's great. I'm stoked about those results. I do not want to lose weight too fast because when you lose weight too fast, you also lose muscle too fast. So I don't want to do that. I want to maintain my muscle. If anything, I want to, you know, have more muscle mass. Um, because I know overall that's just going to help me. So that was, these were my results for today. I wanted to share with you and be um, consistent in sharing it because believe it or not, it's a great motivation for me when I know that every Wednesday I have to stand in front of you and kind of share my results. So that's, um, it's a great motivation, motivation for me to do that. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.